Hi, my name is Pop. I'm making a video tutorial about Unicenta, the point of sale cash register program which you can get and use with Ubuntu. I am opening up Unicenta and I am going to show you how to move stock around. I'm opening up the main screen here and on the main screen you can go to stock right here and products when you open that up does not show anything anywhere anywhere on this screen where the stock is located after you have purchased it. All this screen shows is price, uh, description, barcode. It does say if or not you it is in the catalog and if or not it is an auxiliary product but it will not show where it is when you have the stock and you've already purchased it. You might think to go right up here to product location and up here you will notice where it says general on uh, th when you first open up the program it has this one location called general and I've added these other locations and uh, since I have added these other locations and if I go down from item to item you'll notice here it's very dim it shows in units how many I have well, I've got uh, 5 in general, and here I've got 57 in general, and so on. And I've got a negative number. That means I sold more than I really did have. But if I go to the top line and I open up one of these other locations, you'll see that I don't have anything in the stock room. And if I go to this second item, I've got 1 in the stock room, and so on. Well, I want to show you how to create these locations. You think it would be here in stock. It's not. It's in maintenance. And when you go to maintenance, you go to locations, and you will be creating locations. So if you want to create a location, you go to the end, hit the plus, and uh, we're going to add an item. I'll just type something in. This is my location for break items and I'm going to hit OK and I've added a location. Now when I go to stock and I go to product location I can go up here and go to uh, break item but see I did not move anything into that new location and this this screen actually does not allow me to do any movement. In order to do that, you've got to go down here to this screen that is stock movement. And I'm going to find these items right here that are that have to do with brakes. And I'm going to I'm going to move these items. Uh, from one warehouse area to another and I'm going to hit equal and I just moved one each to the break shelf. Now when I go to stock and I go to product location and I go to break shelf. I've got one of these items here, but certainly no burgers. And if I go all the way down until I hit the next item that is break, there that was actually a break item even though it is labor only. Let me just go down to this one pad and I've got one rotor and I've got one. And that is how you move items around back and forth. First you have to create the location in maintenance, in location. And then after you have created the location you go to stock and you have to move the stock from one location to another location. And that's how you do that. My name is Pop and I have a whole bunch of videos that I am making about Unicenta, the point of sale cash register program. 
and you can use this in Windows, Mac, you can also use this in Linux Ubuntu. There is another thing that you can do with this program which I am not now demonstrating because I do not have the capability of doing it. You can download from a mobile device. This is a very very complete program and the more I use it the more I see how rather complete it is. Thank you very much.